Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. You guys must remember the most damage forerunner I ever had in my shop. I'm sure you do. This is a non-ending bunch of stuff and it came to me for that four-wheel drive system. We did diagnose it together. We find out this actuator works flawlessly and it sends the power to the front. That means this front propeller shaft will keep coming on and off, but the wheels were not turning, the front wheels. There was not engagement. So I ordered, we tested this part and regarding to Toyota factory manual this one is bad I bought a new one and the replacement started with making sure that filler plug on the top was I was able to open it then I drain really contaminated front differential oil from here and that gives us nice access or nice view of this shifting mechanism so basically what do you see these are the forks which needs to be installed perfectly in that groove and I will show you that when we will be changing it towards to the driver side when I push that sliding mechanism inside in that direction let me grab it already so you can see it this is one of the first check you do you must realize that this movement is absolutely easy and that electric motor which is here which is nothing huge correct will have not a hard time to engaging and disengaging this so let's go and see if I move it I will put the camcorder on the tripod how it will change the movement of the front wheels. So, if this clutch part is towards to the passenger side, I can be sending from the transfer case. The shaft can be rotating, but the wheels are not moving. Now, let's pretend my finger is that fork. I will keep turning this and carefully go towards to the driver so now I have a hard time to turn this propeller shaft because I'm already moving this one also you don't see it's moving and this one is moving if I want to disengage the front I'm slowly moving it towards to the passenger and there will be a moment and it just happened so the movement I will say is within an inch. Now I'm turning the shaft, nothing's happening. If I put my finger in that groove, nice in middle, pretending I'm the fork. Look at that, you heard a click and it nicely moves both front wheels. I will disengage it one more time towards to the passenger and that's it. It wasn't a much pressure as you can imagine otherwise that motor electric motor will be not able to push it there and back so everything is lubricated it's very smooth very smooth and that shows me that this repair should be successful of course you remember this vehicle had every single warning light in the instrument cluster on so I made absolutely sure to explain to the owner that this is not 100% warranted but the part failed in that previous video you saw it so that's why I'm replacing it now I have to completely dry it apply my gasket maker there's not cork or paper you just apply your own I have to carefully put the fork right between these two right? install it correctly otherwise it cannot work 
It was held by four 12 millimeters bolts. Here you will be able to see the new unit installed. For the gasket I used FIPG, Turtle FIPG, because in my opinion it has the highest resistance to the oil from all the stuff I know or I have here available. Here is the old unit. Now I will wait, you can see that oil, how contaminated it was. I have both plugs. Now I will wait at least 30 minutes, let it dry. I don't want to expose that FIPG immediately to that gear oil. And you were with me and you brought me luck again. It's obvious. Look at it. I have it slightly of the ground so I put it in the lowest gear I could and before there was no way to engage the front it will just not go on I did it last time we did it in the video I believe not sure if I showed it but that was the situation that ADD actuator is here will not engage the front wheels it was only the rear to show you in how bad shape this vehicle is and this is basically a little miracle because of you look at this rear wheel is it a tire pad or is it a whole rim look at that this poor thing is in such a bad shape, it's really, really sad, but what can we do? Maybe it's better if it's still being used by someone than if it was crashed in the junkyard, I don't know, honestly. So, the lights keep flashing, the Christmas tree keeps happening, but you can see I'm in that high four and fortunately those fortunately those front wheels are engaging and disengaging so I'm switching the two wheel drive switch back into two wheel drive nicely disconnected both front wheels so yeah I'm happy obviously I'm not happy in which shape this vehicle is to look at it all kinds of crazy stuff but that's the owner's problem they apparently use it in the hills so it has its own purpose so thank you for watching and stay tuned because i have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend